Hey my fellow diamond friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kali Kelu on the internet and I also go by the name of Kali and I'm happy that you found your way to today's Whip and Soup and Chat. So um, this is the work I'm working on um, and this will be what I'll be also working on in today's Whip and Chat. So if you're new to my channel, new to diamond painting in general, Whip and Soup and Chat chats. <laughs> Whip and Sip and Chat stands for the following. So Whip is actually just me working on my project, this current year. And um, you can work alongside me on whatever project you are working on, or you can just do chores or whatever it is you want to do while I'm chatting with you. So the second part. Um, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about today's week and whatever is up uh, in my life, what I want to talk about, what I want to show you, like the usual stuff. Um, and it's always nice if you guys like join me in whatever it is you're doing and just like in the end let me comment about what you're working on that's always that what is really interesting for me so um, I'm going to start it off and I'm going to open up this section here I'm going to try on that you can see that I did some progress um, during the last two weeks um, and I'm going to go into more details. Just so that you know, this picture is called Succubus. It's by the artist Christopher Lowell and it's rendered by Diamond Art Club. So it's currently still there, like it's in stock. You can buy it if you want it. Um, I do this one for like a project of my friend and this one is called Women Who Sparkle 2023. So if you want to join that, all you have to do is like get a picture with a woman in it or like a female animal. So it's going to be about that. Um, so this is everything you need to see. And the other part, the more important part is like for this is a whip and sip and chat, which means that actually um, we are going to sip while we work because we want to stay healthy. So grab whatever it is you want to drink. Uh, you can get some water, some tea, some coffee, even if you want some beer or whatever it is you want while you diamond paint, just do it. But always remember like water is essential. So um, I'm going to cut open this part, like I'm going to cut this away and then we are going to start working on this beauty a little bit more together. So I'm just going to cut everything here. This plastic thingy, I always keep it on and then once I've done like a whole row, I'm just cutting it off. I also like to start, like when I worked on this painting, I told myself I want to start at the bottom. Like usually I check the part that's like the most, um, how should I put this, like boring looking. Uh, I do that at the beginning because then I tell myself that when I continue later on, because in the beginning, you have to know that you are likely most more interested in a painting. Like you have this high because you kitted up a new paint and you're working on something new. And um, once this feeling of something new is gone, it can be like um, you feel like drained or exhausted by a painting. And in order to like just have this feeling a little bit less, I tend to work on the part that looks for me like the most boring part first and then I will work it like either from bottom to top, from top to bottom, from right to left, like this is how I work usually. Um, so yeah, I just put down my uh, paper, stick paper, so that I can just cut open my section. I use like this little what do you call cover minder to hold on the plastic folia from Diamond Art Club. I have like my little zesty mini tray, trashy tray for my trashy drills. So they are actually not all trashy. Some are trashy drills, others are like more of um, drills that I spilled and that I want to work on or keep using later on. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit try to get in focus the part that I want to work on. So this is going to be this part here where we have like the bird. So I decided to work from bottom to top just because at bottom, if you take a look at it, we had a lot of these brown colors, darker colors. This was a little bit like more uniform. And on the top part, if I zoom out, you can see that we have all the red moon and her inside of it. So I thought this is like the fun part to do. And I wanted to keep that like for rather the end than the beginning. 
but hey yeah that's just how i work maybe you work a different way that's just like my strategy that i um, decided to go with so i use still my same pen i should really switch it up eventually um but currently this will be it so what i wanted to guys talk <laughs> that's not really english but what i wanted to talk to you guys about today is um i've been pretty quiet on my youtube this whole week and last week you did not get a rip and sip and chat either um, i'm really sorry about that i don't know if there are people like who are really looking forward to them but i was just like sick and especially last week i was a lot sicker um, and i did not feel like doing any uh any video actually and i did not feel like doing much of diamond painting either so i was like mostly resting and trying to get better feel better actually what happened is let me start actually with that so um last week on you may know often wednesday is my day off so i can stay home and i usually take that day to prepare stuff or like my boyfriend is in Teletravai, so he's staying home, he's working from home. And we just like use that day to hang out together and like just having a good day midweek, let's put it that way. We often go out eating out in the mid, like around uh, for lunch and stuff like um, that's also some things we do and like we had a lot I had a lot of going on at school at the moment you know I work at school and it was a time we have all these parents visiting us at different days always late at night we had a lot of reunion and so on and last Wednesday was not different so we had another reunion and actually it was horrible because like usually like I told you guys I'm off Wednesday and what they did is they put on a formation like a journée, ped a journée pédagogique that's what they call it so it's like a day where all the teachers have to be present and we all do formation together so about a topic we have decided to work on so school decided to work on digital stuff like uh, how to use an iPad because we have a lot of iPad classes and so on thing is I actually no, I don't want to be overconfident, but I feel like I have like a good background information on that kind of stuff already. I usually work a lot with my iPad. I can do different stuff with it. I'm not going to say I'm a pro of it, like that's not the case, but I can do the stuff that I want to do. I can do creative stuff with it and I can use it in my classes. So um what they did is like we had a formation there was like an external person that came by and that wanted this guy wanted to explain to us how to use it and he had already come by one day like in january i think he was there and it was okay but it was just a lot of input and most of all i did already know so i just listened to him but there was nothing new for me um, and I felt like today it would, well, Wednesday, it would be not much different. The thing is, like, we had to get there for, like, 9 o'clock in the morning, which is fine. It's not 8 o'clock. Um, and then we had to start. The thing is that, unfortunately, exactly that day, the weather decided to snow. Well, it was snowing pretty heavily and our country is not really used to that. So there were a lot of people that came like too late and also like the guy that should be doing like the formation and he just did not arrive and it was like panic at school, like not for the teachers, but more or less for the headmasters because they were like, oh no, and they had planned everything out and I felt like they were like stressed about it, even though like they did like kind of they changed stuff pretty quickly and they decided to put us in different ateliers where we should like workshops um, that they had decided to do with like teachers from the inside of school so that they could like um, teach us about different kind of stuff as well. So this was actually pretty fun and um, I saw one or two things that were can be helpful even though it is not like the biggest revelation but it was okay. Afterwards, when the guy finally arrived, they decided to just like um, let him continue a little bit 
and they had cut it in two different parts like the first time he was talking well we had like homework so they gave the teachers homework to do um, we had to watch like three different videos and then we had to answer some questions and stuff and it was like super long um, to do this homework like they called it and in the end all like he did the guy was just like give us a feedback of our answers like it was not really um, informative he could just have like given us a sheet of paper with like the statistics on it and I feel like this is it this would have been the same so people got pretty annoyed by it and they started talking a little bit um, and it was in general not very informative like he could have done this they are paid a lot for that and I felt like I could do the same I don't need like a person to explain to me what other people answered like what they think about like newer technologies like that's not really going to help me out with newer technologies that's how I felt and so for me this part was a total waste of time if I'm honest um, yeah and afterwards we did like the second part of our workshop which was a little bit more interesting again and afterwards it was like the guy that actually finished off the journey with like a second part of more uh, feedback on actually you had to do a, a quick feedback each group on the workshop and he was just like during a whole hour reading our feedback from one group to another and so on and this is pretty annoying because I feel like this is like how to waste time we could actually use to learn really nice stuff about um, new technology and stuff iPad or like how to use like these applications in class. So I feel like it was wasted time. We could have used differently, but that's just my opinion. Maybe it is because I already know a lot about it on how to use it. But when I talked to the other teachers later on, they just felt the same way. And I felt like our headmasters were like, really, I don't know. I felt they were like in a bad mood to just put it that way. And I don't know why, because like, I don't, I'm not part of it, but um, yeah, I, the whole situation was like, it was not like the best day we had. Like it, they tried to make it good and fun, but it just was not that amazing, I feel like, unfortunately. So that was it. And then when I was finally in the train to go home, because it was like taking until six o'clock, uh, six o'clock, what I'm saying, uh, four o'clock, and I tried to go home, I went home, I took the train and when I was sitting in the train I started coughing a lot and it just did not want to go away and I felt like oh did I did I not drink enough, was it like too hot in there or something like that. Um, I could not explain to me why I was coughing but I told myself it will probably go away, tomorrow it will be better, I'll just drink some tea at home and it will be gone. Um, the thing is that the next day, actually, it was not gone. The next day I had like, it felt like, you know, if you have a wound that is lying open and whenever air or whatever touches it, it just feels like it's burning. And I had this sensation like in my throat, like it's not really my throat. It's more like the whole um, air conduct, like it was like really really not a nice feeling and it felt raw if i can say it put it like that i'm no doctor so i don't know if this makes any sense to you guys but it was really hurting me a lot and i tried like usually whenever i don't get that often actually i never had that before i had like the covid um and this reaction i did to the last vaccine i received but um yeah, it felt like, it did not feel like COVID actually, it felt more like, I don't know, because with COVID I always had like my throat that actually hurt. Um, I'm super, well, when I get sick, it's often my throat actually, it's not my lungs or whatever, it's just my throat that's getting itchy and stuff, but I did not have that, not at all, it was really just the airway um, that was like hurting. And um, yeah, I, I did not have like, I was taking a look, but like our 
uh, doctors they were all fully reserved so we have a problem here in luxembourg that sometimes if you want to look you go to look for a doctor you can't find one you can't get an appointment within the day you have to wait like two three days until you get actually an appointment so this can be pretty annoying um, and there was just no appointment until next Tuesday. So I decided, and we were first day, so I was like, okay, um, I can do this, I will survive this. It's not my throat, so I can still talk. That's the most important thing. I'll just drink a lot. Um, so this is what I did. I got some lemon juice and I drank a lot of water, but still it did not like go away. And it was really, really itchy. And um, on first day it was still okay. So it was just hurting and I could deal with that. Um, I actually usually get along well with like everything that's pain related, so I'm not like that sensitive. Um, but on Friday, I also kept coughing a lot and I had my, I always call them my big students. So they are like having in the last, they have their last year and um, they have final exams pretty soon. So I didn't want to miss out on anything. I didn't want them to miss hours either so i went there even though i really felt bad already in the morning i had a little fever but i dragged me to work nevertheless and when i was there like i was like we were reading and the thing is when we read i let them read the text that's not a problem but i have to do the explanations for them even though i ask them questions um, and they will probably find the answer by themselves but i still have to reformulate stuff or to just put it the right way and when we were there like at a point i just could not breathe correctly and my i was coughing a lot and i did not want to cough like i'm more of a discreet person so i was trying not to cough like super loud in class and all um but i just could not i felt like i was like kinder not getting enough air or stuff and it was really really hot and i was like a mess and they noticed it and i was laughing it off by the way but i just did not feel good and i was happy once this was over but friday is always like my worst day because afterwards i have like the very little ones so i go from the big ones who are about like 18 90 20 years old to the little ones who have 13 12 13 years they are 12 or 13 years old and i felt like I have to be like more strict with them just because I have to repeat stuff a lot and I have to tell them to be quiet and stuff. I don't know if you are like a teacher, you know that situation is no longer as it was when I was at school or um, it's difficult with the kids nowadays because they are like, um, if you tell them to stop, you have to tell them multiple times to stop. They just don't won't stop right away or they will just like get back at it. Um, I don't know why this is, but I don't know. I'm not going to go into details with that. It's just like, um, let's say that Fridays are super energy drawing for me because I have like the bigger kids where I have to explain a lot. Um, and then I have like, four hours of the smaller ones like uh, 13 to 40 years old and um, let's say it's more like of disciplinary stuff that i have to do and this takes a toll on my voice as well so i try to to be as efficient as i can be but i still they are like bigger classes i have like a lot of kids in the class as well so i have to talk louder and if you have already problems with your voice or with your airway it can be pretty complicated so by the end of friday i felt really really bad and it was not just my throat that was hurting but it was like everything was hurting more or less um, and i was so happy when i went home and it was weekend and during the weekend i actually did not do a lot i was really at home trying to get a lot of rest to feel better next week but on Monday, it was still not better. So I decided to get an appointment nevertheless. And I was happy I had a chance because the doctor just opened another appointment. So I got this one for Tuesday. And I did not go to work on Tuesday. Um, Wednesday was my day off. And on first day, she decided that I should stay home as well, just to like cure it out. And because she said if the 
blanks are getting infected that's not good so um i had a rest i rested a lot i tried to stay warm and stuff and i feel better now so it's still not gone entirely i still have like this pressure on my lungs if i talk a lot um but i feel like it's easier like if i have to talk um uh, yeah let me get a sip though So I've been talking about 20 minutes, just telling you that I was sick. I'm sorry about that. Um, so yeah, I was sick and that's the reason why I did not upload any videos, um, neither either this weekend nor like this week. But I'm back with like this Whitman Sip and Chat and I really hope that I will stay healthy now for a good while um, so that I can do a little bit more of the videos. So what else did I want to tell you? Oh yeah, like what I wanted to tell you, even though I did not put up any videos, is that actually on um, Tuesday, I think it was, yeah, it was on Tuesday, I finally, like I told Bev that I really wanted to, uh, Bev from um, Bev B, you know, um, I told her that I really wanted to see because I had never seen any of her lives and I really wanted to go there and meet her, like, and talk to her and... Um, be part of her life actually so the last time I tried it actually I was um, let me just see what okay last time I tried it I was like the first time I fell asleep and I did not wake up on time um, the second one what happened is that I accidentally thought it was the wrong day because of her birthday so I did miss out on that as well I went too early and the next day I forgot about it and the this time i actually got there i got there for a complete nine minutes because what did happen is i woke up on time because i um i went to sleep early and i was like okay let's try this out if i can maybe um like see her live later on and i was like feeling well enough and when I watched it, actually, I realized that she was already in it for like an hour. So I just saw nine whole minutes of it. That's all I saw. And I felt so bad because I really tried to get up. I really tried to see it. And it was super interesting because she had also someone over. And um, I was interested in knowing more about them. But when I entered, she was already talking about stuff. And I did not really know what they were talking about. And then she was like, okay. Um, and she ended it and I was like, wait, what? And I'm not sure if it was me who misunderstood the thing or if actually in the States they already changed hours. Like, did they already pass to summertime in the States? No, she's actually from Canada, but did they actually switch things up already? Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I'll try again this week to catch her because I really want to get more into like... Um, these live streams and I also thought about joining like Miss Coffee's Friday live stream. This is also something I wanted to do. Um, the thing is always that it depends on my week. If I get too tired, it's difficult for me to stay up or to just wake up. Um, but I will try. I really want to do it, so it should be okay. Um, yeah, that's something I really wanted to talk to you about. Another thing that I wanted to talk to you about, what is more recent, is that actually have you noticed that there was like a new picture of Diamond Art Club that they they released like these Looney Tunes this Wednesday. And when I checked out like the web page on Thursday, there was like this new You May Art kit. That they sold like they did not even announce that they were selling it it's just like they're sitting there on their page as a limited edition and when i checked it out and i went to the description box because i was like why didn't they announce it they said that actually it's like if you know uh studio ghibli it's you may art one they render a lot of you may art at the moment and i'm not unhappy about this i'm really loving it and anyway so it's a picture by you may art and it's one from Kiki's Delivery Service. And I really love like this Ghibli movie. And I was like, oh, why didn't they like, did I miss something? Or why didn't they just put it up in their, like on their Facebook group or not Facebook. I don't follow them on Facebook, but on their Insta, why don't they put them up? And I was checking them out again. And 
no, it's not there. Um, and then I read the description box and actually what it is, is that it's a version one kit. It's also in the title, if you look at it. And it says that it actually is like, um, they are not that happy with the rendering. So it was done by a junior designer and apparently the size is too small for them to like it. Um, when I looked at it, there was, I was like, first I was really astonished about it. Like, uh, why is it there? And they are right. Like it looks a little bit more pixelated than we actually would say, or that we are used to from them. This does not mean that it's actually bad. I looked at it and I thought that it looked okay. So, uh, and it's an artwork that I really like and they did like offer it or they are still offering. I don't know when you're watching it or if it's still in stock by then, but they offered it for like 50% off. And I was like, okay, so it's like smaller than the one that they want to put out in summer. So they said that they would do another version in summer. And I was like, okay, maybe I should wait for it. But then I was like, hmm, but maybe if it's smaller, that's fine too. So I decided to get it nevertheless. And I want to get the other one as well so that I can try actually out and compare both of them. Um, this is something that I want to do just to see if the size does really make a big difference. Um, and I also love to work on smaller kits. When they say, I, I'm really curious to see what they mean because the, si the kit is actually not that small. It's already now, um, it is, mm, what was it, like a 55 to 80. If I, I'm not really sure about the, de oh, the details. Let's say it's about. 55 to 80 or something like that. I don't have like the right um, size in my hand now, but that was about it. And I thought that is, it's not that big, but it's not that small either. So I wonder how big they want you to go for this one. But either way, I ordered it and um, I'm curious to see once it gets here, if it really is that pixelated or whatever. So it was like for Europe, it was, I think it was a 40, for euros so i just like went okay i'm going to try that one out and then i want to compare it just to see if it was really that big of a difference um i don't know i also like the artwork and i really wanted to get it work on it and see a little bit more about the rendering even though i follow diamond art club and buy from them for over a year now I still had not experienced this kind of stuff. Like I never have seen any kit that they were like putting out a version one and later on a version two, or maybe I just did not notice it. So is that something that you have already seen Diamond Art Club do? So let me know about this in the comments below, please. I'm really curious about stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, maybe you can check it out. I will try to put a picture in it. Um, I'm going to stop the video so you see actually what I'm talking about. So yeah. Um, that was that. I really like Kiki's delivery service. What else did I want to talk to you guys about? Oh yeah. Um, actually, at the moment, um, since I was sick, I did not have like much to do. I worked a little bit. Um, I did stuff for work. Nevertheless, I put up like some homework for the students because they ask us to do that. Um, I worked also a little bit on the books that they should be reading, like everything where I did not have to use my voice much um, and where I could give it a little bit of a rest. But um, me, while I was doing that, I also had like the time to watch a little bit more of TV. So I was like resting and there was like a series that had popped up on my Netflix that I was curious about. So I'm interested in everything that's like uh, Asian culture. And there was like this series about um, sects and cults in um, Asia. And there was like, I don't know what it is called. Like it was in the top 10 now this week or last week um, in the name of God, I think it's called in the name of God. And it's a series about like religious cults and stuff. 
I'm not going to go into details about it. Um, sorry, one second. My dog is just like, you know, if you have a dog, does your dog also like randomly start licking, licking its paws? And it gets super annoying when he does that because like Edgar, he does that sometimes. And he does so much noise when he does it. And it gets so annoying, especially at night when everything is calm and watching something and he starts licking its paws like horrible. I really have like to push him a little bit and um, like not hard, but a little bit like little shove and he will stop usually. But um, yeah, does your dog do this as well or cat, whatever? Yeah, I know cats do that, but they are not as loud, I feel like. Okay. Yeah. Um, what was it about? Oh yeah, the series. So I was watching the series and actually it's crazy. Like I knew about that cult and stuff and I didn't knew a little bit about it, but I can't, I really can't. If you take a look at it, there, the first one is about a GMS cult in Korea. So everything is based in Korea for this like series. And it's a cult where actually the leader, he, um, they are more like, they at the first glance, they are not really a religious cult. So they are more about like a social club, they do sport activities, they are open-minded and stuff. But um, they have like a more scientific way of explaining religion as well, like Christianism. And... Somehow, there are a lot of people that got interested in it, especially because they were like more open-minded at the beginning. And if you take a look at the videos they show you and so on, there are a lot of younger women actually that were part of this cult. So there were like women who were like talking to other women, explaining them that um, they should join in, it's fun and so on. So you have like also testimony of different people people especially young women who talk why they joined them and so on and throughout the video you actually see how horrible um this cult is just because like the leader he thought that he was the last the new messiah and that he was like the incarnation of jesus that came back to earth and he was abusing women through this status so he was like really sexually assaulting women um, by using of like the status as cult leader that he had. Like people were, especially women, were like so happy when they could finally meet him. And often they were introduced through other women who had like probably experienced the same thing, but who did not say anything. Like for them... They were so brainwashed that it already became normal to be like sexually assaulted by him. And that's the part that's like incredible. I mean, if you see someone do that um, or you go through that, you would not like get other women in the same position you were in. But they actually used like other women who already had gone through this assault um, to get to other women like and this is like the crazy part the part that i can't really understand like i mean if you have that you live through that how can you do the same thing to someone else and you know exactly what will happen to you and there's like one informant that was talking um she's really young and beautiful and she can't explain it to herself why she was this way why she did it but she said that in the end, often like the victims felt like um, it was their fault as well. Like they were not really victims anymore. Like they were part of it. And so you will come into a role like you don't really understand and you don't really know what your role was in it. If you are a victim or really a harasser or part of it. Um, and this makes the whole thing for them as well so confusing. So it's not just about GMS in this like um, series. It's also about other cults. And um, often like it ends in murder in these cults. And if you take a look at it, if this is something you're interested in, um, I think it can be super, super interesting. But I I don't know. I'm... 
it was really difficult for me like to watch all this especially like the second cult that they are presenting there is like um i don't know um it's about like either mass murder or it's about mass suicide so they were never sure about what was the reason behind all of the death but um in the end it can be like pretty shocking and you feel so bad about it when you watch the videos or the episodes you just think or at least i was thinking how can human beings do that to other human beings um but yeah this is just what i want to talk to you about if you're looking for a series and you want to go a little bit more of a documentary you can take a look at that so it's on netflix and it's called um in the name of god i think so um, yeah really shocking but quite informative as well um and they want to do a second series of it like a second yeah a series of this um not series what do you call it yeah. yeah anyway you know what i mean and um they are not sure if they can do it because they put like the the people who testimony in danger actually um, so they are not sure if they should do like a second season, the word was season I was looking for, season of it or not. Um, but I would love to get a second one, but I understand if people don't want to actually testimony for, do testimonies for that. Um, it's super relatable, but hands up for, hands down for like all of these people who did it. Um, you can see that there are like some people who do it with like showing their faces. The other people still hide their face. They want you just see like their back or you just see their body but not their face. Um, but all of the testimonies are f like honest testimonies. At least like um, they say speaking the truth and it's not like enacted, reenacted. So um, I really liked watching this series. Really informative as well. So... Yeah, this is what I wanted to talk to you guys about. I'm just going to play it like these ABs. So just like a quick reminder, I'm doing this like painting for the Women Who Sparkle event. Yeah, so it's for this um, Women Who Sparkle event. If you want to join, you can still join. It's until the end of the month. So if you get a picture done until the end of the month, you are fine. And I think that they also said um, that you can actually if you don't finish it in time like until the end of march you have still time furthermore time to just finish it off afterwards if you need it so if you want to check out you can take a look at diamonds and pearls uh and pores like she's like the, my friend that actually hosts this one with uh, some more of her friends you can check them out you find them on instagram if you want to find it and you can also use the hashtag so that they can actually see what kind of picture you are working on so this is this um this is the ab's this is the part i was working on i hope you enjoyed today's video i'm going to stop it here for today and yeah i hope i will see you guys in another video and I hope next week I can put up more videos for you as well. So until then, stay healthy, stay hydrated and bye guys.